What is cracking, Chef Buff Army? You've been requesting another workout video, and today you're going to get it. A deadlift workout video. I'm currently chasing after a 500 pound deadlift. After being sick for a while, I started lifting heavy again on April 1st, as you may know. When I tested my one rep max on April 1st, it was 415 pounds for a single rep. I've regained a lot of strength in the last 12 weeks. You see, I'm currently training my deadlift with a Canadian powerlifting champion. He's currently doing the Ed Cohen 10 week deadlift program. I jumped on the program with him on week three. The following video you're going to see is week four of the Ed Cohen workout program. Oh no, it's a Chef Buff deadlift workout. You're about to see me do a double of 455. That's 455 for two reps. I'm just warming up here, working out with my main man, Sean Kelly. So right here is three plates, bam, like nothing. Four plates, this goes right up, nice and tight. It's the dressed in blue. Come on. Go. Good. Ah. Easy. Lock it out. Nice, dude. Bam. That's how we fucking do it. Just grip and rip it. So obviously the form went a little south, but guess what? It was max effort, so it's all good. Come on, Van Halen playing while you're working out. What more do you want? Shim is sick. So now we're doing some speed deadlifts. Fat. Okay. Omar, you got to go faster than that. But we only had 90 seconds off. That's a little lower lumbar rounding. I trained back squats on Saturday. I wasn't supposed to. So I got some tight ass hamstrings now. Tight like an old bastard. So here we're doing five sets of three reps of those speed deadlifts. Nice and fast. You got to go Omar once again. You got to go faster. But that's cool. It's 90 seconds rest, which is not a lot of rest in this circumstance. What we're actually doing is the Ed Cohen deadlift 10 week program. Ed Cohen is a famous, amazing amazing powerlifter. Sean Kelly proposes to me because we have the same one rep max deadlift about 475, 480. Even though he's twice my age, guy is nuts. He's insane. So we're just finishing off right here with the speed deadlifts and then we're moving on to a circuit. So we got some stiff like, oh, Omar, your tricep's getting cut, buddy. What do you, what's your secret? Motherfucker, it's some prowler work is what's going on and some high intensity. And those are some sexy calves. I don't give a shit that they're small. We're doing some stiff leg deadlifts right here. So again, the ass out, bring it wham, right back in. This sexual thrusting will serve you well in many cases, trust me. Uh, bent over rows. So this is once again, is powerlifting style, right? So we're using a heavier weight, exploding up, using some hip drive, and it's not a pendulate row, so we're not taking a pause, squeezing nice and tight. I missed uh, filming the reverse lap pull down for the first and third set. That's cool. We did the good morning. This is called the anti-rape. Uh, exercise. I used a super lightweight because this type of good morning is excellent for improving both your deadlift and back squat. So my legs are straight as you can tell and what I'm doing is shooting back with the hips. It's all in the hips while keeping the back arch because that back arch is crucial for getting a wicked deadlift and keeping that tight position. So now this is the second. So, oh man, look at that guy. He's running. He's running so fast. Oh, he's, he is just, he is going to win guys a marathon. So you ball best respect doing a stiff leg right here sun is shining I'm listening to my Van Halen probably by now it's maybe I don't know Unchained some other sick crazy song so just bringing it up taking that pause at the bottom so you reset every single rep and now we're moving on BAM the bent over row once again I cut off my face while filming oh there he is the man the myth the legend himself Canadian powerlifting champion and record holder Sean Kelly in that frame so now the reverse lap pull down I refuse to use a lighter weight than my man Sean. So this one, once again, bringing it in with a little bit of a lean back. I think it was about 225 pounds, total power lifting style. So uh, I refuse to use any lighter weight whatsoever because I'm training with the man. So here, wow, he's got a jacked vein right there. And it's crazy, he competes in raw natural power lifting. His arms are bigger than mine. Uh, dude is nuts. So just doing the good morning right here. And uh, what we're actually doing or what I'm doing is just keeping that back straight and tight as the hips do all the work. And this was especially hard for me, quite honestly, because my hamstrings were so tight after doing those uh, squats on Saturday. This was filmed on Monday. And so just put it right back. Last set right here. Let's see how I do. What are you doing, Omar? Oh, man. Okay, you got to pause. You got to pause at the bottom. I'm just in the zone. I'm not even, I'm just getting, I'm secreting a whole bunch of crazy. I'm getting my swole on. So I'm not, oh, there you go. Better. Okay, now I'm taking a pause. I finally realized. Sean probably told me. He's like, yo, slow down, sucker. So 
we're doing, we're ripping it up right here with a stiff leg -like deadlift. And then the last three exercises, just the bent over row again, making sure, trying to use as much of the back as possible with some hip drive. And I didn't film, once again, the reverse lap pull down, I forgot, but I did get, so this is now about 205 on the uh, Good Morning, which is a wicked accessory movement, but you gotta get it right. Guys, if you want to see more workout videos, make sure to like this stuff and leave a comment because I will be seeing me and my skinny calves will be seeing you in the next workout video. Guys, that was the workout. If you want to see more workout videos, make sure to like this video and I will be seeing you in the next video.